atoms are very small, with a radius of about 0.1 nanometers, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. The radius of a nucleus is less than 1 ten thousandth of that of the atom, which is about 1 times 10 to the minus 14 meters. And almost all of the mass of an atom is contained within the nucleus. We need to know the relative masses of these subatomic particles. The positively charged proton has a relative mass of 1. A neutron has a relative mass of 1. And an electron, the mass is so small that we say it is negligible. As well as being represented on a diagram, the atomic structure can also be seen on the periodic table. The bottom number is the atomic number, which is the number of protons. And for lithium, you can see that this is 3. The mass number at the top is the number of protons and neutrons put together, and in this example is 7. Atoms of the same element that have different numbers of neutrons are called isotopes. Carbon is commonly found as carbon-12, with 6 protons and 6 neutrons. However, by increasing the number of neutrons to 7, you can produce carbon-13. Another commonly formed isotope of carbon is carbon-14, which has an additional 2 neutrons compared to carbon-12.